Okay, everybody, so in this video here, we're going to do a little bit of coordinate geometry. We're going to find the equation of the line described by the following. We want to be passing through the points negative 1, negative 2, and 4, 2. Okay, now I, I prefer personally that, that students use the point-slope form of the equation. So that would be y minus y1 is equal to slope times x minus x1. But you might, uh, you might need to use the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. And there are other forms of the equations of the line, but I'm not going to go through and spend uh, time going through all of those. I'm just going to really hit these two. Now, in both of these cases, the thing that I really need right off the bat here is I need to know the slope, okay? So slope, remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so that is going to be 2 minus negative 2 over 4 minus negative 1. And you got to be careful about that. The most common mistake that I see students make here, and it's not because they don't know what the formula is, because they're just not thinking in that moment. They're not being careful. They'll do y minus x over y minus x. And that's not how, that's not how slope works here. So 2 minus negative 2 is going to be 4. 4 minus negative 1 will be 5. So we're looking for a line that has a slope of 4 fifths, and that passes through these two points here. Now, I don't mind if students were to do this. If we choose that first point, you could have written this as y minus negative 2 equals 4 fifths x minus negative 1. Okay, or you could have made that y plus 2 is equal to 4 fifths x plus 1. And I have no problem with that. Or you could have written it as y minus 2 is equal to 4 fifths multiplied by x minus 4. And again, I have no problem with that. In fact, I don't even really need those parentheses right there. So those are two versions of the line here. Now, what I want to do here, because it does look like I've got two different versions of the line here, what I'm going to do is in both cases here, I'm going to convert them into y equals mx plus b. I'm going to convert them into slope-intercept form just to show you. So in this particular case here, this is going to be y plus 2 is going to equal 4 fifths x plus 4 fifths. And then I'm going to bring that 2 over, so it'll be 4 fifths x plus 4 fifths minus 2. And that's like 2 over 1, so I'm going to need a common denominator. I'm going to multiply by 5, multiply by 5, and I know... I know for some of you, uh, we don't really need to go over how to add multiple, sorry, add and subtract fractions, but there's going to be others that that has just been a sticking point kind of throughout your education. So you just got to just got to look at it. You got to do it. You got to think about it here. So it's going to be minus 10 over 5. And so altogether, this will be 4 fifths x minus 6 fifths. Okay. So now let's just see that that works over here as well. So y minus 2 will equal 4 fifths x minus 16 fifths. Then I'm going to add, whoops, I'm going to add the 2 to the other side to bring it over. So it'll be minus 16 fifths. I'm going to add 2 over 1. I need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply by 5, multiply by 5. And so this will be y is equal to 4 fifths x minus 16 fifths plus 10 fifths. And then there we go. Y is equal to 4 fifths X minus 6 fifths. So we're getting the same equation here. So you could use that as your final uh, or either one of, whoops, sorry, wrong, that one. Either one of those two works as well. And there are other versions where you get rid of the fractions, by the way. You could, you could write this by getting rid of the fractions and, and bringing all the terms over to one side. There are other versions of the equations of a line. But these, like I said, these are going to be the most common.